Hello there and welcome to The Big Picture, where today we delve deeper into the nationalism versus freedom of expression debate. Back in focus, yet again, on a university campus, this time at Ramjas College of Delhi University. The situation remains tense around the area, days after the clashes between the Akhil Bharati Vidyarthi Parishad, the ABB, ABVP, and the left-wing All India Students uh, Association, ISA. Now, just today, the Street Theatre Festival at uh, Khalsa College was also postponed, allegedly because of quote-unquote repeated threats over anti-national themes of some of those plays. But it's not just Delhi. A police complaint was also filed against a JNU professor over her alleged remarks about Kashmir and the Indian Army during a speech on the Jodhpur University campus. So where does this eventually all lead us to? Joining us on the debate today, we have in studio Professor Apuvanant, who's from the Department of Hindi at the University of Delhi. We also have Professor Rajvi Sharma, who is an RSS thinker, and uh, also, we have Sujeta De, who is the national president of ISA. And we're hopefully uh, being uh, joined by someone of the DUSO or the ABVP, and we'll try and contact uh, them in just a short while. But if I could start with you first, uh, Professor Apuvanan, these few instances that I have talked about. Uh, and, you know, at the moment, of course, all of us are agitated because of the Ramjas University incident. But uh, the ones that I've mentioned are just this year itself. But it has been building up, hasn't it, in various campuses across the country. Yes, uh, that is what disturbs me as a teacher and as an academic, as part of academic community. Because uh, what's happening uh, and what has been happening uh, over the period of last three years is that uh, we have seen it uh, in Central University of Haryana, uh, we have seen it in Central University of Jharkhand, we have seen it in Mohanlal Sukhari University, Udaipur, and uh, we have learned of uh, incidents in certain colleges in uh, Delhi University mm -hmm. uh, where teachers have been attacked and uh, police complaints have been filed against them for uh, having organized allegedly anti-national uh, programs. For example, in Central University of Haryana, uh, a play uh, adaptation of a short story by Mahashweta Devi was staged and uh, an FIR police complaint was lost and show cause notice was issued to uh, Snesa Tamano, the young uh, English teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was harassed uh, for weeks and she had to tender apology. Uh, similarly, in Mohanlal Sukhariya University, Professor Sudha Chaudhary of the Department of Philosophy was attacked and FIRs were lost against her and Professor Ashok Vora of our university uh, for having allegedly insulted Hindu Devi Devatas, uh, which was again uh, a lie, complete mm -hmm. lie. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is happening is that our academic space is shrinking yes. and, and there is a fear growing that whatever we do, uh, we are under constant watch by somebody and either we will have to undergo a long ordeal of legal cases or we will face physical intimidation or physical violence. The Ramjas incident is the extreme, I would say, mm. uh, where you not only force uh, uh, the principal or our organizers to cancel an event, which I think is very disappointing, uh, but you also physically attack people. You look for teachers who had organized them, and, and, uh, and violence goes on for the whole day. Mm. Uh, it was quite shocking for me, quite disappointing, uh, that uh, our students could indulge in, 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 in this act of violence against uh, their co-students yes. and their teachers. So wh what it, it's doing to, to universities, uh, first, it's, uh, it, it's resulting in shrinking of academic space because it's not a case of my freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. As a teacher, it's my duty yes. to expose my students to different worldviews. That is my duty. Mm -hmm. it, I may agree with them. I may not agree with them. Yes. But it's my academic duty to do that. Mm -hmm. And I would be dishonest if I hide some of them from yes. my students yes. because I think that it's sensitive or it's anti-national or anything else. Mm -hmm. So that is my fear and it's also affecting the corporate life of university. Because what would happen? 
my relationship with my colleague, my relationship with my students, it, it would be stressed. Yes. And it, it would be under severe strain. Absolutely. So next time when I go to my classroom, I'm not sure what would happen to me. Yes. Am what you're saying, is it being perceived in the right spirit yes. or is it being taken or is it being politicized? Uh, Professor Sharma, you know, uh, I, I don't want to get into the Ramjas incident only, but uh, compared to what we saw last year in JNU, that is where, of course, Umar Khalid was someone who emerged from that. Uh, his name is something, uh, you know, that everyone knows at least about, at least a few of the students in this country at least know about. Uh, now, all the more so because of the Ramjas incident, perhaps he's become more of a, uh, I, I don't want to call him a hero, but a personality who everyone knows about. Uh, but in this particular incident, he had not even uttered a word as yet. Uh, there was no sloganeering, so-called anti-national slogans that were even, that had even started as yet. What was the trigger for this? And if this is how student unions are going to be protesting against even guests, faculty members, or for that matter, any kind of seminar, is this how it's going to be? from now onwards? I think uh, I would uh, like to place this in a proper perspective. Hmm. If we go through the history of India, right since ancient uh, days till today, then I think we will agree that there has been an environment always for discussion, dialogue, debates, Shastras ki parampara, you know. Hmm. And there was a space for the differing and even opposing opinions to coexist. Even after independence, we have been uh, uh, critics of each other. And uh, even when people were there in the same party, they used to question uh, the uh, kind of policies that were uh, planned or that were put into place, whether it was Congress or LOIA or anyone, they, they discussed and debated fiercely in the parliament. But uh, why is it happening now? It is because after February 9, 2016, there appears to be a deliberate attempt to place nationalism and freedom of speech against each other, whereas it should not be. Nationalism is not opposed to freedom of speech, and freedom of speech should not be opposed to nationalism. But this virus of anti-nationalism, which began from the soil of uh, a very uh, renowned university of India, Jawaharlal Nehru University, this virus of anti-nationalism started spreading to other campuses of the country. And I think in the name of freedom of speech and expression, if somebody tries to demoralize the nation or demoralize the uh, defense forces or demoralizes the society, then I think this is a very dangerous trend. Whether it is a young teacher or an old teacher, whether it is a student or a non-student, nobody can have the right to question the unity and integrity of the country. Absolutely. We agree with that. Right. And we agree that so, anti-national, anything which is perceived to be anti-national is obviously every one of us is against it. Exactly. No, but, no, but it is not. No, you see, when Khalid and Kanhiya Kumar and others, they were uh, giving uh, uh, slogans like uh, Bharat Teri Barbadi Tab Jang Rehegi Jang Rehegi Ya Bharat Tere Tukre Honge Inshallah Inshallah There were people who said it is my right to freedom of speech and expression. That was shocking. That was disturbing. It means that you are mobilizing support for the, for the terrorists. You are mobilizing support for the separatists. You are mobilizing support for those who want to destroy the unity of the country. And since then, the, the, my, my learned uh, professor uh, Apuvaran gave some uh, examples. Uh, I think that uh, right to protest is not unilateral. That for one party or a group, if there's a protest, then it is my fundamental right. If there's anybody else who protests, then it is fascism. This is what exactly happens at places. In, uh, in uh, JNU, the protest and the anti-national slogans were right to freedom. But when it came to opposing the invitation of a particular student, because he was involved in some kind of a case, he's accused therein, 
and the act, and the case of sedition i think is is against him mm. he's on bail and if some group of students stages a protest against his invitation then there is a uh, counter kind of a mobilization and a huge crowd is gathered and we all know what happened i don't i don't agree and i don't uh, support what happened there mm. no violence is the answer to any any kind of thing and i think the fir has already been lost let us wait for the investigation as to who initiated and who got hurt mm -hmm. by whom mm -hmm. this is a matter of investigation to yes. be done by the police mm -hmm. but having said that that violence is not the answer in a democratic setup every section has a right to say even through the protest even if it is abvp it is not the sole right of the left to protest mm -hmm. even the uh, non left parties or the groups can also uh, stage a protest this is this is one it's interesting you mentioned the abvp because we are also being joined by priyanka chauri as the vice president of uh, duso also abvp member uh, priyanka you were of course uh, there at those protests that took place in ramjas uh, we are trying here to not talk only particularly about that incident but we are trying to uh, delve deeper into the debate of nationalism versus freedom of expression and where does one draw the line where i mean you know as as a vice president do so you are of course responsible for this important post uh, but you know where do you draw the line and when do you say that enough is enough see let me first define nationalism my nationalism is the security of women my nationalism is the betterment of education my nationalism is that every student of delhi university gets all the facilities that an educational institute can offer in the best way my nationalism is the dignity of women my nationalism is equality my nationalism is that every girl student and every boy student you know study hand in hand and walk together and resolve all the issues and as far as what happened in ramjas is concerned these people first of all they had no permission for the event in the ramjas college the principal completely denied any permission and second of all talking about umar khair we all know what he did in jnu uh, slogan wearing against kashmir talking about breaking this country into pieces such kind of he was anyway such, not such called kind of person who had no credentials called on a completely different topic and as far as speaking about if nationalism says treating women well uh, you know there are enough evidence to show that the women were not treated well during those protests we are not i am not trying to uh play judge here and say you were responsible or aisa was responsible beating up women or not or for that matter delhi police was responsible but is this how every debate is going to get solved in various campuses across uh, you know the country because uh, it's not just and i'm not just targeting the abvp i am talking about all student bodies including uh, let's say a student body in uh, west bengal in burdwan university last year we saw how sfi activists uh, they of course uh, they ransacked the entire college because they were they presumed that the results were erroneous uh, and following that there was of course a lot of hangama that took place so what i'm trying to ask is is this how all these debates are going to get settled eventually on the streets in this manner absolutely not absolutely not we do not support any violence in delhi university or in any other university that is there in india what is interesting is that these people they play the most non violent creatures on this earth and they are the most violent people i can show you pictures where they are actually carrying carrying iron rods in the u they are actually spitting on students they are actually throwing dust bins over the students and provocating them they are making obscene gestures to the students when they are raising bharat mata ki nare bharat mata ki jai jaise nare unko ye log obscene gestures dikha rahe hain they are provoking provoking them again and again so that they outburst and do something uh, that made the whole ram just outburst all right all right so clearly clearly uh, dr uh, professor purvanand we you know in in uh, like i even told uh, i'll come to you sujeeta in just a short while uh, like we said you know at the moment at the heat of the moment we understand students uh, indulge in this but uh, where do we draw the line then i mean I, I who eventually I, I, who I, eventually I, has I, the authority sujeeta who okay so sujeeta who so. has the authority then no, who tells the students in, yes uh, what we saw on that day on 22nd in delhi university it was not a venting out of anger or at the heat of the moment what is what, what we saw was a very well organized a very planned physical attack on the protesters uh, we were hit 
by the deep activists, stones were pelted. People got hurt. Dear Professor Prashanthu is not an ISA member, by the way, and it was not an ISA ABVP clash. It was a protest uh, demanding that seminar should be allowed to happen. Uh, this happened, and the police was a mute spectator. The police did not do anything. Uh, there was no extra police force called. This riot led by ABVP went on for, I think, three, four hours. No extra police force was called. Uh, we, whenever we protest in the city, we have seen that it's, it's very normal that the police records us. I mean, there is a video footage taken by the police. Uh, in, uh, that day in Dew, there was no video recording done by the police, no extra uh, forces called. It was a very planned uh, riot manufactured by ABVP, protected by the Delhi police. And I think the message is quite clear to, I mean, it's quite clear to us. We have been categorically told that uh, if you differ from the ABVP or the RSS's version of nationalism, which I believe is not at all Indian nationalism, uh, right from, you know, the, uh, the uh, independence struggle till now, RSS's version of nationalism is not Indian nationalism. But if you differ from their version of nationalism, if you say that India is not a Hindu Rashtra, it's a secular country, and Indian constitution will have to be implemented, you will be beaten up, you will be pelted stone set, and the police will be a mute spectator. The police okay, will let right. it happen. Professor Sharma is wanting to so, respond to this. Professor uh, one, one more thing, I said, I will just want to add something on the specific seminar. Uh, seminar, they say they have a problem with Umar Khalid. Uh, uh, for everyone's information, till today, the police has not been able to file a charge sheet against Umar or Kanaya, till today. And you know all these slogans of whatever, whatever has been said by mm -hmm. RSS thinkers, mm -hmm. they know that Umar or Kanaya was not engaged in it. Police has not right. been able to find anything. We are not getting into so, the police. So, so if, we are not if getting into Umar the, was, the action of Delhi police. We are not getting into the investigation. No, but that is something which has to be discussed because the Delhi police is responsible for ensuring security. The Delhi police cannot be mute spectator when riot is happening. And that is what has been alleged during 1984, during 2002, that the police is a mute spectator when citizens are being you know, uh, at that point, citizens So, so what we're saying is what? Eventually it comes down to the police? It comes down to the police to control student bodies? It comes down to the police no, to, when to there tell is a ABVP, violence. When there do is a not violence. go to a college and do not threaten professors from holding, uh, you know, no. uh, uh, holding seminars? When there is a it law is, and order I, situation, the police has to act. When stones are being pelted and in front of the police, you know, teachers, professors, students are getting hurt, it's the task of the police to take charge of the situation, because why not order violation was yes. taking place. I think uh, in a sort of taking some kind of a very uh, hard ideological line, which mm. uh, Suteza is taking, because she is talking of RSS nationalism and Indian nationalism, and right through this independence struggle, I am sure she might not have been even well, born when... Well, it's just part of a dialogue, even, isn't it? Nationalism even, does involve even at, dialogue. Even at that so time, she, was, she might not have been even born when the national struggle... She is just well, getting like from... Like said, different uh, ideologies, just, sir. She yes. is just getting from what has been uh, told to her or uh, might be well, somewhere read. But, you know, two things I would like to say. One, that whether it is... Uh, your or mine, though I don't agree that nationalism can be divided into your nationalism and, and my nationalism. <coughs> nationalism is nationalism. That is my commitment to my motherland. That is the commitment to my people of the country. That is the commitment of the unity and integrity of my country. That is the nationalism to me as a layman. But you know, when you discuss things uh, in a perspective, I'm sorry, I just uh, read a statement today by Farooq Abdullah. And he termed uh, the, the terrorists as the freedom fighters, that they are fighting for freedom, that they are fighting for their rights. He is speaking the language of Pakistan. And I'm afraid if uh, some of my friends in India also defend it in the name of right to freedom of speech and expression, is speaking the yes. language of the enemy, all right. And, and I mean, yes. uh, just, just allow me to complete. No, no, because uh, we, groups are she is a not, BJP activist. No, that uh, see, uh, what, I, what I, I completely understand, your definition of nationalism, my definition of nationalism should be the same. I agree. Yes. However, the enforcing of nationalism is what is the problem here. Let's quickly, just quickly, because I'm running short of time. Where does this eventually lead to, Professor Purvanan? Do we eventually see... CCTVs in, uh, in in classrooms where people are monitoring what each specific professor is talking about. Do we eventually yes. come I, to I that? Think, I think uh, two, three things should be very clear. 
and, and there should be a common ground as we were discussing before coming to the studio. First, there should be no violence. Nobody has a right to act on behalf of the nation or the state of India to enforce nationalism or enforce law even. You cannot presume that I am anti-national and you are more national than me and therefore you have a right to stop me from mm. indulging in anti-national activity. Mm. You don't have this right under the constitution of India and you don't exercise it. If you are doing it, it is, a, it is unlawful. So first, no violence, no physical intimidation. Second, don't act on behalf of the state. Mm. You are a private citizen. Everybody is a private citizen. You have equal laws, equal rights. Third, academic debates, academic questions need to be discussed academically. Arguments need to be countered by arguments, not by physical threat. Okay? You do not close down a debate because you do not like it. Mm -hmm. Please enter this debate, put your argument, trust the intelligence of the audience who is, who is listening to your argument and yes. their argument, yes. trust their intelligence and trust the power of persuasion. Universities are in fact places where we impart this art of persuasion to our students. It's not shouting which should settle the matter because what shouting does, it silences me. But it only silences me, it doesn't kill the idea. Yeah. It remains there yes. and we all know that nationalism is an ever growing thing. 50 years before today or 30 years before today and even today the Naga issue, the Naga India relationship is still not settled. Mm. The northeastern states are still not at peace with India. The Kashmir issue has to be settled. We need to take everything into account and we need to take this conversation forward. Yes. So there is no question of claiming that I am more nationalist than you and I am and acting on behalf of India. So for example, I get, I, I get uh, very surprised when people say that since you are a Maoist, you are anti-national. Mm -hmm. You, you, you know, Maoists have, have, Maoist have an Priyanka, ideology. Priyanka, do you agree with what Professor here is saying? See, what I want to say is the person who is under trial for sedition cases, the person who raised anti-India slogans in January 9th of Feb, a person who worships terrorists like Abdul Guru and Makbul, but a person who calls Ma Durga as prostitute should not be yes. allowed should in should our education. Should I say something? Yes, should, yes, say something? Should, should, should I, should I tell Priyanka as a teacher? Should I tell Priyanka, 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 I'm trying to tell you. Priyanka. As a teacher, you are telling things which are not correct. No, which sir, are simply not correct. No, 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 no. This would happen in jail to say. How can you say they're not truly correct? Please don't go on and on. Please. Please verify your facts. Please. You are ascribing something to somebody which is not true. You are criminalizing him. You are doing something so which, is, which is very dangerous. He, he I was allowed it. March for no, it is not proof. 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 It is not This is exactly what I am trying to avoid. Organize another story. I am telling you, sir. This is exactly what I am trying to avoid. Please bring back the debate to... Uh, to freedom of expression, no, no, she's which untruth because, I, I'm because so Omar Khalid never said anything about Durga. That is what we are saying. No, no, no. It's not a matter of opinion. We're looking at where this is heading on. One of the prime victims of this entire thing that we're seeing in this past two years, at least the start of last year onwards, is these young. Uh, teachers, women teachers, female teachers who are falling victim to this so-called anti-nationalism uh, or nationalism debate that we are seeing. And these are women who have no affiliation with any student bodies. They've not studied in a fancy JNU or a DU or for the matter even, uh, you know, any of the other uh, big universities. They're homegrown talent. And instances like this are scaring them off. Do you not agree? Do you not agree, Priyanka? Do you not agree for that matter, Professor? No, uh, I agree on two things. Mm. One, that there's a need for a consensus. 
there should be a zone of consensus yes. despite the divisions in the ideology or ideas at least there should be a consensus that nationalism is not available for compromise that national unity or integrity is not available for compromise is there anybody nobody ready to be nobody in nobody, nobody will get the freedom to to uh, cite slogans against the nation at least that consensus should be there number yes, one and at least that consensus and, and, should be and, there and, and, that and, any and, allegations and, and, which and are against two, a person needs to be proven no, first and, before you no, teachers are saying if you invite say, say if you invite today suppose i agree with the professor puvanan by saying that there should be an academic debate and discussion right yes. but if we invite a huriat huriat leader uh, to an academic debate what do we expect of him will he speak uh, the the aims and objectives of his movement or will he speak Why on the subject of this question leader, so you you know you can't take freedom you can't take freedom and the invitation of those I'm who are in the india i'm very sorry so, so. i'm running out of time and I, i do hope this dialogue continues i, mean, I, I just, hope I this dialogue I, continues i just want to Without, say one thing that yes. when rss and abp say that they cannot be called they should not be called they must not be called what do they mean But the need that the national government should not be allowed to mobilize the support, or whether there is Indian law, or there is a judiciary to judge. Should I submit? Should I make one? Should I make one? Should I should I make one submission? Yes, please. Because we always change our positions. Korean leaders have been called by governments of India at various points of time Absolutely. for discussion. Yes, they have been invited to India legitimately. they 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 have indian passports so you cannot say that horiat leaders won't be given stage so, yeah, they have been they, they have been they have been given stage by indian governments exactly. even this it government has a bad even this, this government Absolutely. i have seen unfortunately professor gilani being spat at his face after having having acquitted by supreme court yes it, it, it's it's a series of cases uh and uh, when it when we come to the huriyat that we go into further yes. home, and we don't want to get into that uh unfortunately what we are seeing in our campuses uh, is disturbing um uh, and you know i wouldn't like to say so but i think when you protest against certain people uh you are just creating more of an image out of that person you're creating more awareness for that person uh for all you know that seminar would have just finished quietly and nobody would have even known what happened there and you know uh things would have just been peaceful but that's just my opinion and uh, i hope i'm allowed to speak my opinion and that is the hope of every indian and every student especially their opinions are at least heard and they don't have that scare that tomorrow they're going a brick is going to come you know thrown at them and that is i think at least the hope that every student should have i'll have to leave it here for now uh, that's the that's all the time i have at the moment on the big picture thank you so much for all of you joining me on this debate uh, which i'm sure it's going to continue for days to come thank you